Hi everybody, welcome back to the She Shed. Today's tutorial is going to be making this big huge poncho, which you can't really see there, but have a look at the photos. And it comes with a hood. So here is the hood. So what we do is start with the body of the poncho. We start down one end, work our way up create a hole, do the back of the poncho, then we will make our hood which we make while it's we make it to attach straight away so none of this sewing on. We trim the poncho with a rib and we trim the edge if you wish with another rib and then that's it. It isn't complicated, it isn't hard to do, it is half double crochet stitches along with front post and double post crochet for the edging. What will we be using? Well for this I use this colour. So what we are using is Mandala, is that how you say it? Mandala? And the colour I used for this one is Warlock. I haven't got enough, that's all I had left from making this poncho. So what I will be using for the next poncho is this Mandala Lion Brand. And this one is called Sphinx. And that's the colour that will come out. There is 540 metres in this. We will be using not quite four balls of this. I got mine from Spotlight, but I am sure you are able to buy direct from Lion Brand. And it says it needs a 5mm hook, but I am using a 5.5. Just check your tension to see what suits for you. What else do we need? Well, this is my hook, my 5.5mm furls hook. Scissors, yarn needle, and I do recommend use some stitch markers. Now the reason why is because when you are doing the panels, you'll be doing 70 rows for each panel and instead of counting every single time, if you mark off every 10 rows, you can just count how many 10s there are and you will have seven. So make sure you've got enough stitch markers and alternatively, if you don't want to do it with stitch markers, you can use a stitch counter and count all your rows. All right, let's get this project started. Okay, so start off with a slip knot. And when I do my starting chain, I do it using a size up. This means that you will have a looser chain uh, which you can work in and in the end it actually evens out your work so you don't have a tight end and then when you finish your work you've got a loose end it evens it out so I'm going to be starting off with my 6.5 millimeter hook and I will be chaining 120 when you have your 120 stitches change your hook to your hook that you will be using for me it is my 5.5 chain one and we would be doing every st stitch in the back of the chain so the front of the chain is this V the back of the chain turn it over and you'll see the loops we are going to be working each stitch into that loop of the chain they are going to be half double crochets and we're going to miss that chain one we just did and then yarn over go into the loop on the back of the stitch grab your yarn pull it through and then grab your yarn and pull through the three loops on the hook again chain over go into that loop grab your yarn pull it through and grab your yarn and pull through the three on the hook Now you need to do this in every chain 
stitch in your chain and when you have finished that I'll meet you back here once you have finished putting a stitch in every one of your chains you should have hundred and twenty stitches chain one turn your work and now we're just going to put a half double crochet in every single stitch so that's once again yarn over into the stitch pull yarn through yarn over and through the three stitches on your hook and you are going to be doing this for every single stitch and at the end of every row chaining one and turning and then a half double crochet in every stitch of every row you will be doing 70 rows for this panel now if you do want to make this much longer then do more rows but if you would require a smaller poncho do less rows but if you are following along with me I'm going to be doing 70 rows and I will meet you back here after you have finished your 70th row I do suggest that at every 10th row that you do put a stitch marker and that way you can just count 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 instead of having to count every single row every time you want to check so that's what I do so go and do your 70 rows or however many rows you require for your poncho for the front panel and I will meet you back here when you have done that now that you have finished your 70 rows we are now going to work on the neckline now you can see here that I marked each 10 rows to know that I had 70 it makes life a lot easier than having to count the whole lot so I just went 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 okay so we are going to count 40 rows in and put a stitch marker so that is my 40th stitch there and I'm going to put a stitch marker to the stitch next to it now we're going to count another 40 stitches so here I am at my next 40th stitch and I'm going to put a stitch marker right on that 40th stitch and this should now leave me with 40 stitches left so I have exactly 40 stitches left which is excellent so this gap here of your 40 stitches in the middle is where the head is going to go through so that is now your neck in between there all we are now going to do is start working our next row so chain one turn your work and continue your half double crochet into every stitch until you get to the stitch marker the stitch before the stitch marker we are now at the stitch marker and what we now need to do is make the other side of the neck and how we do this is this is 40 stitches along here between the two stitch markers of the neck so we need to chain 40 to correspond with that so chain 40 stitches there we go 40 stitches and now we need to join to the stitch just after that sti next stitch marker so it's a little tricky because trying to do a half double crochet in thin air but there we go and then just work your way to the end and I'll meet you back at the end of the row okay at the end of that row chain one and turn now work your normal row as half double crochet all the way along until you get to the chain I'll meet you back here when you've got back to the start of the chain we are now at the chain and we're going to work the chain the same way as we did at the very beginning of um, your poncho and you 
will remember that there's two sides to your chain. You have your V at the top and you have your loop at the bottom. And if you remember, we are not going to be doing the stitches into the V. We're going to turn it over and do our stitches in the V. Now the first one can be a little tricky because it's trying to find it and getting it turned so you can do your stitch. So yarn over, don't forget to do your half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the loop on the back of that stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn, pull through all three on the hook. And just keep working into each one of your loops on the back of the chain in each stitch. You should end up with 40 stitches by the time you get to the other side. And I will meet you back here when you have finished putting stitches into every one of the chain. Last stitch. And then you continue the rest of the row as normal. So I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, so at the end of that row, you will see you now have a hole which is where your head is going to go through. Uh, you are welcome to remove the stitch markers now. And this is the first row of the back side or the front side because it's reversible, but it depends which way you're going to put your hood. So this is the start of the opposite side now. So that is row number one. And if you want to mark it off with a stitch marker to say that is my row number one and then count from there down. So that's one row one of your 70. So you now have 69 rows left to do. So I am going to continue doing my rest of my 69 rows and I will meet you back here at the end of the 70th row in total. And then we will be working on the hood and doing the trimming. So I'll see you back here after doing 70 rows. Both sides are now finished. And we now need to do the edging. And you can see I've already done this side. So let's run through how to do this. Going to the other side. Now when you do your first side, you'll already have the end of your yarn attached. So all you need to do, your end of your yarn will be attached and all you need to do is flip it to the side and start working down the side. So I'm going to start my yarn for the other side. So just attach your yarn to the edge of the border. And we are going to be half double crocheting on every second row. So how I do this is I go into one, miss one, into one, miss one, into one, miss one. Can you see? Hopefully you can see that there's a line of each row. So I go into every single, um, every second hole and put a stitch. And we, the first row is going to be half double crochet into the top of the row. So just going to go into every second hole. So there's one row and I'm going to go into the second one here. There's the other row, I'm going to go into this one here. There's the next, let's go into the next one. 
And there's the next, so I'm going to go into the next one. And continue doing that all the way down. Now you don't have to be that precise. Just try and make your stitches as even as you can along the way. And as many stitches as you want to do to make it even, there is no hard or fast rule to this. Okay, continue along, making your stitches even along the way, and I will meet you back here when you have finished that row. When you have finished putting a stitch evenly along the edge, turn your work, and now we are going to be doing front post, back post, double crochet. So what you need to do is chain two, yarn over, go into that hole there, go behind that stitch and into the corresponding hole. Grab your yarn, pull it through, then grab your yarn, pull through the first two, and then grab your yarn and pull through the next two. And that is a front post double crochet. Now we're going to do a back post double crochet. Yarn over, behind your work, into that hole, go across that stitch, into the next hole, come through, grab your yarn, pull it through, and that can be tricky, so I sometimes hold it so I can get it through. Grab your yarn, pull through the two on the Grab your arm, pull through the next two. And that is your back post. So you can see the front post pops out and the back post goes back. Front post, grab your arm, go into the hole, behind that front stitch, into the next hole. Grab your arm, pull it through. Grab your arm, first two on the hook. Grab your yarn, next two on the hook. And then go behind, go into the hole, in front of that stitch, into the next hole. Grab your yarn, and this is where I will sometimes hold because this, this is the trickier of the two stitches and it can be a bit hard to get it through. So I sometimes hold there, pull it through, and then do your double crochet. And you will be alternating these two stitches all the way along. Okay, so let me show you those two stitches again. Yarn over, go into the hole, behind that stitch, into the next hole. Grab your yarn, pull it through, and then do your double crochet. And do your front post, sorry, your back post, front, back, ugh. <laughs> go behind the work and into that hole, come in front of that stitch into the next hole, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then you double crochet. Okay, so continue doing that all the way along and I will meet you back at the end of this row. Coming to the end of the row, it doesn't matter whether you finish on a um, back post or a front post double crochet. Whatever you finish on is what you finish on. So I actually have finished on a front post. Now here is my last stitch which was where I started the row with my half double crochet. So I'm going to go and do a double crochet straight into that stitch. Not a front post or a back post, just a straight double crochet. So you can have a nice edge there. And then chain two and turn your work. 
Now we are going to repeat this whole process, but what you are going to do is do, so this is a now a back post double crochet, front post, back post, front post. So therefore I'm going to do exactly the same on top of it. So as this is a back post, I am now going to do a back post on top of that. And the next one is a front post, so I am going to do a front post on top of that one. And the next one is a back post. And the next one is a front post. So continue doing that. So wherever there is a back post, do another back post on top of it. And wherever there is a front post, do the front post on top of that. And continue along this whole row. And I will meet you back here at the end of that row. At the end of this row, just got one more stitch, which is my back post, double crochet. And then in that very, very end bit there, where the chain is, do a normal double crochet into there to finish that off. And that is your border done. So you can finish off, so cut off the end. Bring your yarn through and we'll weave that in later. Now you have finished your two sides. We need to work out which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back. So I've already done that and this one I want to be the front because it's got the most color and it seems the most even. I like it the best, so I'm going to make that the front. And now we need to work out where our hood is going to sit. So there is our neckline and this is the front and the hood is going to sit around here. So it is going to come a little bit around the front. Now what you need to do, you would have had 40 stitches around here and you need to bring in to 11 stitches and put a stitch marker. Come in the other way 11 stitches and put a stitch marker. And you should have 18 stitches left in the middle. Then when you have worked that out, you need to start at your first stitch marker. And we are going to be putting half double crochets in every stitch as we work around. Now theoretically there should be what's 80 minus 18 stitches around. What is that there? 40, 20, uh, yeah, <laughs> 62, is that right? Going around. Um, whether you have more or less stitches doesn't matter. I just work a stitch in every one until I've come to the other side. So start your yarn. And we will be putting a half double crochet in each stitch as we go around. So just work into every stitch a half double crochet and make your way all the way around until you get to your stitch marker on the other side. And I will meet you back here when you have come to there. Okay, so when you've got your um, row put in around your neck and you can see, try and make it as even as possible as you go around. And any of you eagle-eyed people out there will notice that I have actually changed the colour because I started off with the blue. And then I realised I started at the wrong end of the ball. And um, so I changed. Um, so make it as neat as you can. And what you now will be doing is going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to make the this is the hood we're working on to make the hood as long as it will go over your head so periodically try it on and 
join the two sides together over your head and see if it fits comfortably over your head. How many rows that will be will depend on you and your head or the person you're making it for and their head. I'm going to continue working backwards and forwards and I will let you know, well for you it's going to be in no time whatsoever, but for me uh, I will work on this and let you know how many rows that I did for my head. But for now, what we will do is you will chain one, turn your work, and continue working into your stitches. Might help if I get it right. Continue working into your stitches until you have the required length that you need, which will fit over your head. So I will keep working on this and I will get back to you and let you know. Also you can remove your stitch markers at this point if you wish. So I will see you back here very shortly. At the end of doing my hood that you can see there it was 32 rows that I did for my head. So what we're going to do now is we need to join the hood together to make it actually into a hood. I hope you can see there. So there's the face in there and we're going to join the top together. So that we have the seam on the inside we need to sew it. So that's looking at it at face on. So your head will be here and that's the inside. So what we need to do is flip it that way. So that's the inside and we've pulled it out. So again, face would be in here, that's the back. I've got the two ends and then flip it so that that is the inside there. And then we are going to slip stitch the seam together. So put your hook into the first stitch on the other side, grab your yarn and pull through that and the loop on your hook. And keep doing this all the way along. So you're just going to put your hook into the two stitches on either side, grab your yarn, pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. And keep doing that, marrying up the stitches as you go and you will seam your hood together. Continue to the end, I'll meet you at the end of this seam. So at the end of your seam last stitch and then you've finished with that for your hood so let's finish off and cut that and slip that through and we'll sew that in. So bringing it back the right way you can see the seam there, very hard to see, nice neat edge and you can see the inside there that you can definitely see the seam. Okay, so that is the hood hooded. You are more than welcome to leave it like that or you can put a just a, a half double crochet rim around the edge to neaten it up. I'm going to go one step further. I'm actually going to put the half double crochet rim around the edge there and I'm also going to mirror the edge on the hood to my sides. So what we did on the sides is what I'm going to do around here and therefore I am going to start off down the side here. Now leave these tails that you saw there because we're going to sew, we're going to create a little seam along here which will need to be sewn to here. 
which is the front of your neck. So let's start off by doing our half double crochet border. And if you want to leave it at that, leave it at that. So let's start off down the beginning of your hood. Join your yarn and then once again into your row, beginning of your rows or end of your rows put a stitch. Now it's up to you whether you want to put a stitch in every single row or you want to do what you did before and every second row is a stitch or if you want to just evenly space it how you feel will look best. I'm going to go every second stitch because I want to marry, um, mirror what's going on at the side here. So we're going to go, come on, miss that one, go into that one miss that one go into that one and so on and so I'm going to finish this edge of my half double crochets and come back to you when you have done your edge now unfortunately when I thought I was recording I wasn't recording so I've um, missed the um, next row that I was supposed to be doing which was the front post and half, um, back post double crochet so repeat the front post back post double crochet if you would like to continue on and mirror the um, side edges around your hood so we did the um, half double crochet edge and if you want to leave it at that do so um, and I wanted to continue on with the front post back post double crochet which is what I've just done there so I'm just finishing off that and my apologies that um, for some reason I didn't press record or I thought I did and I hadn't um, so I'm finishing off this row and I'm finishing off with a back post on that stitch there and then on my chain here I am doing a normal half double crochet And then I'm going to chain two and turn my work all in a mess here. There we go. And I'm going to continue doing my front post, back post double crochet. And if you remember before, you were doing your front post on top of a front post and a back post on top of a back post. So that's a front post there. So I'm going to do my front post and then my back post is going to go on my back post. So there we go there. So remember that your front post yarn over going into that hole there behind the stitch and into the other hole bring your yarn through and do a half double crochet and then your back post is going behind into the hole in front of the stitch and then grab your yarn pull it through and do that all right so continue this row so this is now your second row of front post back post half um, front post back post double crochet because unfortunately I missed recording the first row so this is now your second row and I will meet you at the end of this row okay at the end so we're going to end off with a back post double crochet and then doing into your chain a normal double crochet okay so that brings us to the end of our hood and doing the rim so let's finish off bring the yarn through and there is your hood but we just need to tidy it up and sew the ends up here and one over here 
Okay, so. What you need to do is just line it up where it sits comfortably. Don't need to pull it, tug it, do anything with it. Just line it up so it sits nice and comfortably. And then just thread your stick yarn through. Go to the back because you want to sew it on the inside. Now you can sew it or you can... Um, do um, slip um, slip stitch with your hook. Either way is absolutely fine. Yeah, and then I just weave the um, weave the thread through a few times just to secure it it's one side and then the other side okay let's turn it inside out so we're weaving on the inside again we'll seam that in in a minute So same thing, you can slip stitch it with your crochet hook if you would like, or you can just sew it together like I am. Doesn't matter, either or either. And while I'm here, I'll just quickly weave this end in. And just weave in all your ends like this. I um, go backwards and forwards over my uh, over my um, weaving in just so it does not come undone. And we are there's your hood and all finished and my beautiful mo model will now show you what she looks like wearing it well I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, I hope your hooded poncho turns out beautifully if you do have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and i do answer every single comment that is left thank you everybody for joining me on this journey in making this hooded poncho and i hope to see you here again at the she shed next time thanks everybody bye